week, friends. Another great week ahead of us. I will have a few announcements for you and then we'll move into the message. So we have two park days coming up, October 7th and the 21st. Note that's a date change because it was on October 14th, but we have no school that day. So we changed it to the 21st. So we'll meet on the 7th and the 21st at 12 to 1.30 and we'll have a little study break and a little recess time and it'll be great. Let's pray that the weather is good so we can meet then and I think it will be. Also on October 11th at kick time, 10.30 service, you guys get to come and pick a, a pumpkin out. We're gonna have a bunch of pumpkins here at church and you get to pick one out and then we're gonna talk about the pumpkin gospel. It's exciting, I can't wait to share it with you. But for today, I have a little message for you too. So, how many of you have taken one of these bags down to the parade or maybe trick or treating? And what were you hoping to happen with this bag? Mm, maybe this right here, maybe this? Getting a bag of candy? Yeah. Have you ever like just started eating it as you were getting it and putting it in your bag and eating it? Yeah. Or maybe going home and just dumping it out and sorting through it and all your treasures, right? I like to sort through them and put all my M&Ms like together and all my Reese's together and you sort through your candy. Have you ever done that? It was a lot of fun. How about... <clears throat> How about if you ate it all at once? Did you ever try eating all the candy at once? If your mom and dad let you, would you do it? Probably not a good idea, huh? I think your belly would be feeling pretty sick. Yeah. It's not good for you either. It's, it's not a healthy choice. Now, one piece here and there, um, that would be a better choice, but candy in itself doesn't have any um, anything really good for your body in it so um, it's good to just have one piece at a time in fact we really uh, would be better off have you ever had these yummy candy corns right we'd really be better off if we traded in our candy corns for what's it say on the bag smart food hmm or corn, or corn on the cob would be really healthy for you. But sometimes we would rather just eat all this delicious and yummy candy because it's so tempting. But I want to read in the Bible to you about, about this. Okay, and I'll, I'm going to explain as we go. But this is our Bible. And it's God's truth. He gives us directions to how, to how to live our life. The rights and wrongs are all in here. And we're going to read something that Paul wrote. So we're going to go to 1 Corinthians, and that's in the New Testament. Okay? If you don't have your Bibles, remind your mom and dad that you want to investigate your Bible. So you're going to go to 1 Corinthians 10. And we're going to read uh, 23, verse 23 and 24. I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. What's beneficial? Helpful, right? So I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. And then... I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Hmm. Let's investigate this further. We're going to check out the next clip. Hey, Michaela. You know what? Somebody's been eating my candy. You know how much I really like crunch bars. And I'm getting a little tired of it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up a mousetrap. 
and then I'm going to catch whoever it is that is eating my candy. Okay, so we're going to find out who the culprit is, and then we're probably going to have to go to the hospital. Okay, so the mouse trap. That's so tempting for the mouse, right? That little bit of food there is like such an inviting place for that little mouse to be, right? And the temptation of how, how yummy it looks and mm -mm, I want to go and get a little taste of that and it smells so good too. So that's so inviting. And it's, it's really bait, right? We're baiting the mouse. And sometimes, and then what happens? What happens when the little mouse comes, right? It's like, snap, whoa. Well, that's kind of really what it's like for people too. Like, let's go back to the candy we were talking about. Now, it's okay to eat candy, right? But is it okay to eat the whole bag of candy? What if your friend was with you and was enticing you to eat more candy than you knew you probably should? Would that be okay? Maybe not even asking your mom or dad if you could have more candy and just having some, is that okay? What about another analogy would be like, let's say you're at a friend's house and your friend wants to watch a show that you probably shouldn't be watching, but you feel like it's okay because your friend says, yeah, you should do it. You should, we should do this, we should do this. And so it may seem right in this world to be watching some shows that you think are okay, but would it be beneficial if you watched something that was inappropriate or something that was rated PG-13 and you were too young or rated R and you're too young for that? Would that be beneficial for you? No, no, that's not gonna be beneficial. It's just going to fill your heart with things that don't need to be there and images are gonna be put up here that you you don't need to capture. So it's important to remember sometimes the world thinks things are okay, but the Bible says it's not. So here's where we want to make sure we are searching when we are in question of things, what's right or wrong, because the world may make it enticing, like the mousetrap and the candy, right? Yummy, yummy. But maybe it's not right. Now, I'm not saying that candy is not okay. I'm saying, yeah, candy is good and fun, and we all like some candy once in a while, and that's okay. But it's not okay when we start doing things that um, aren't appropriate or things that maybe, like I said, the world may think it's okay, but we know better because we have our Bible. Or if you're in doubt, go to mom or dad and ask, you know. But we should always remember that even if mom or dad is not watching you, you still need to make the right choice. Okay, that's a Christian in a Christian of integrity, one that makes the right choice even when the mom or dad or the teacher or the person in charge is not looking, you're still making a good, good choice. So today's Bible verse is 
trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Remember, can you see that? There it is. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Look it up. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for leaving us the Bible, the book of truth, for your guidance and your direction and giving us discernment. Help us to be more like Jesus and help us, even when people are not looking, to do the right thing. Help us to remember that your presence is with us wherever we are and your angels are guarding us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do in our lives. And we pray for safety and protection over us as we go through our week. We love you, Lord. Amen. See you next week, friends.